Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and this is your Los Angeles chiropractor, Dr. Daniel Rude from Los Angeles, California. Hi, nice and to see you. Dr. Rude has come here to Houston to learn the neural manual spinal decompression adjustment on the y-axis. We, we call it the ring dinger adjustment, and also he's learned some other uh, XYZ axis adjusting, and we do clinical skills, contraindications, indications for doing this and not doing this. And uh, so far, what have you gotten out of today's? I've learned a lot about three-dimensional adjusting, so I'm ready to uh, help people get back on the center. Yep, that's good. Is this different than most of the chiropractic seminars you've ever been to? Yeah, it's much more hands-on. Yes. And uh, a lot more patient interaction. Mm -hmm. Which is really cool to get to see people's lives changing right before your very eyes. Right, we have people from Saudi Arabia, Mexico. Guys walking with a little limp the and then coming out walking straight. It's been yep. amazing. Yep. So anyway, I wanted to do this video because I do these orthopedic neurological exams on every single new patient who comes in there. And I'm gonna just show you an example of that with Dr. Rude here, because we are also talking about the importance of a very thorough history and examination, orthopedic neurological examination. And I'm just gonna run him through my routine. So he's seen it all day long. I'm just gonna do it to him now. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do is apply compression stress. Does that cause any pain? A little bit on the left. Okay, now I'm gonna go backwards and to the right. Down. Yeah, a little sore bottom. Down in here or yeah. down lower? Uh, neck and, and mid back. And upper mid, yeah. okay. How about we go back and to the left and down? A little left neck. Those are called maximum foramen compression tests and they look for IVF encroachment. That's what they're looking for. Also detects facet joint problems as well. And I'm having tilt right ear to right shoulder. Does that tighten up? Yeah, it tightens up a lot. And if you get tighter when I do yeah, that. So that's a positive shoulder depressor test. And he's got a range of motion limitation there with tightness in his SCMs and traps. Does that tighten up as well? Yeah. Not as bad as the other side? Not though? as bad as the other side, no. Yeah. Yeah, a little sore there. All right. So this is a decompression test. Lift straight up on the occiput. Does that feel better? Feels better. Or worse to your spine? Feels better. Okay, good. I'm going to push down, test your deltoid strength. Good. Same thing here. Good. So that is C5, that's the deltoid muscles, and that's innervated by the fifth cervical nerve coming out between C4 and C5, cervical vertebra. Okay, so back down, there you go. Yep. This is the, uh, I test the biceps reflex first, the brachioradialis reflex here, and the triceps reflex here, which is C6, C7. This is C6. This C6 and C7. This is strictly C7 triceps. And then the patellar reflex here is L4, L3 and L4. And the gastric nemius or the Achilles reflex is S1. That's the innervation from the L5 sacrum nerve that comes out between L5 and the sacrum. So I might have you stand up right here now, Doc, and face the mirror. So I'm going to have you close your eyes and bend your head forward and backwards for me, please, sir. Yep, not bad, actually. That's one of the best postures I've seen all day, actually. It's a good thing you're a chiropractor, huh? <laughs> you got a little bit of forward head posture and translation to the left, but not bad. That looks like fairly sticker. symmetrical. You're a little bit right down here. Is that something sticking out of your pocket? Yes. My phone. Okay. <laughs> so, at least he's not sitting on a wallet, thank God. <laughs> all right, so... Lay on your back here for me. I'm going to do a straight leg raise with you as well. Now this is a straight leg raise test, and it's just exactly what it sounds like. I'm raising the leg straight up. Now I usually pull the toes backwards a little bit. Does that cause any lower back pain or shooting leg pain? Just tighten this in your hamstring mostly. Okay. Is there any pain in your back or your leg when I do that? No. That's a braggart's test. Now I cross this over here. Push down. Does that cause any pain in your hip joint at all? That's a Fabry Patrick test, which is negative, meaning he doesn't have any hip pathology. Straight leg raise on the left. Any lower back pain or shooting leg pain? Just tighten this in your hamstring. Okay. Does that cause any back pain or leg pain? That's a Braggart's test. That test for nerve root um, tension to in the sacral nerve. Does that cause any hip pain? No. It's Negative not. Fabry Patrick there too. Now to test the lower extremities, flex forward, pull up, turn in, turn out, push, pull up, turn in, turn out, 
push big toe, pull up big toe, good. So he has normal five by five strength in his upper and lower extremities. Let's turn you in and come now, please, Doc. Now, by the way, this is going to be his first adjustment by me today. We're finished up seeing patients here today. <laughs> we were going to try to do it this morning, but I got busy. And this is the first time we've even had an opportunity to do it after we finished today. So he's got a short leg on the right by half an inch. Now bring his legs up. They get even right there. Does that tighten up a little bit in your little back and your thighs? No. Not bad? Okay. So he had a positive deer field on the right, but a negative knockless test. That didn't tighten up or hurt down there. So negative knockless, but a positive deer field on the right. So I'm going to start off adjusting his right SI joint. I'm pushing this straight x-axis away. We're just opening up the right SI joint, adjusting the sacrum straight superior to inferior and P to A on the left and the right side. Now I'm going to hit this left SI joint. And then I'm going to move into his lumbar spine, L5, L4, L3, L2, L1. Legs are now even, and they stay even. Did that hurt anywhere? No, it's great. It, feels, it should have felt even easier, actually. Yeah. Good. Okay. Breathe, exhale. And Dr. Rude has the normal chiropractic thoracic spine issues going on that we all get from adjusting all day. Is that where you get a lot of your issues in your yeah, thoracic right. here? You got a little too much knowledge in the head, Doc. Your head's heavy. <laughs> now he's hitting C3, 4 up there, which is down the P to A, and then C5, 6 down here. And then I hit T2 right here, straight P to A as well, to bring the whole head up over the spine. Let's turn you on your back now. And you're starting to get a little of that kyphosis up top, too. Uh, chiropractor spine, huh? So uh, this one, I'm contacting his zygomatic process and bringing his head up negative Z as well as negative theta X, which corrects the Z axis and the theta X axis. Let's go ahead and put both arms out sideways, palms up. I'm gonna up the thoracic piece here down, slide down about an inch. blue scrap you got on kind of the Los Angeles colors, aren't they, for yeah. the baseball team? Yeah. I noticed that. Dodgers, right? The Dodgers, yeah. Yeah. Y'all won the uh, World Series this yeah. year, didn't you? There you go. Did you go to any of those games? No, I didn't. Oh, they all closed off due to COVID? Yeah. Isn't that weird? It's been a weird year. A couple years ago. There we go. You feel that from your knee up through yeah. the back? Good. Okay, let's sit you up, face that way. There we go. Uh, whew. Okay, let go. That's it. I usually grab the bicep little tendon and try to move it back into the groove with this part of it. And then once I get it there, I externally rotate and adjust that right up into the little humeral joint. Get a little bit of stress in your elbow there too. Have you injured that before? No. I'm just adjusting all the time, huh? Yeah. Yeah, let go. I find most chiropractors have elbow and wrist things going on too. Yeah, we see 20, 25 people a day. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Now yeah, let's come over here. This is Dr. Rudd's first time ring dinger. Woo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's been watching them all day long. Slide down just a little bit more. You know, let your legs just relax and bend with the table. Yeah, this is a hard part. I had last time I was on this thing, I bounced it a couple times and knocked it down like that. So I bring the legs up to where the lower legs are parallel 
with the table on the y-axis he's a little taller so i'm gonna bring his up a little bit more that should feel pretty relaxed in your spine right now no pillow under the head you got a curve forward in your cervical spine your lumbar spine muscles are flattened out which allows me to get deeper on the y-axis adjustment from his occiput all the way down to his sacrum because we've taken a lot of the lumbosacral musculature hypertonicity out of the equation so we get a deeper y-axis adjustment which most people that have been walking around in gravity all their life since one year old when they started walking have been subject of gravitational compression stress but most people have never been decompressed in the y-axis take a nice deep breath you want to keep your teeth together don't bite your tongue with your left ear oh, there it is wow yes sir Woo. did you feel that one all the way down yep there you go Ooh. Yes, sir. <laughs> there. Dr. Rudd is still kicking. That actually improved your reflexes on your patella. There you go. Nope, got one more here. There it is. Yes, sir. Well, I think I've cleared out. <laughs> I think you are. There's nothing like it in the world. That was intense. It is intense. You probably be sore for about 72 hours there, Doc. Oh, pay back your hell. <laughs> so, being a licensed chiropractor in the state of California, this is your very first time getting a ring dinger done. How would you explain this to other chiropractors who may be watching this or even other patients around the world about the first time feeling of this? It's life changing. <laughs> it is life changing. You feel your whole spine move. All 24 freely movable vertebrae. Right. It's uh, scary. <laughs> it is first but, time. But, uh, Once you figure out I'm not going to rip your head off, it gets easier. <laughs> it gets easier. And uh, yeah, you feel a big adrenaline rush. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel straighter. Yeah, you are straighter already. Standing yeah, her I think I breathe better too. Exactly. I childhood asthma, I, I feel like I can. Well, it lines the entire rib cage up from T1 down to T12 too. So you're getting all 12 ribs adjusted simultaneously as well. It's a master reset. I call it my master reset because it does reset everything biomechanically and neurologically. So welcome to Team Ring Bear. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Here, let's come over here and shoot you now. You're from LA, so you're probably used to this. <sighs> Boy, look at yourself in the mirror right now, yeah. man. You squared off like a military man right now. Wow, I don't think I've ever felt this tall. That's great. Posture looks great. Let me just stretch these guys out for you and bounce these muscles. This instrument is a high velocity, low amplitude adjusting instrument. It's called the Arthur Stem. And that's exactly what it's doing. It's stimulating the joints, which are arthra. Pull these shoulders up and back. Flare these guys here. Now we're going to come straight back first, then look back. You're going to feel a little tap on your atlas here. You notice I always end the adjustments with every patient with the atlas mirror image adjustment which sends neurological information into the cerebellum, acquiring this new structural alignment. So it's all neuroplasticity up in the brain. Mm. Flex forward and backwards again for me, Doc. That should feel pretty smooth. Yeah, I feel like I'm on a new different plane. There you go. You are on a different plane right now. So keep watching, because he's going to do his first ring dinger on me this evening as well. Make sure you say a prayer for me. <laughs> we'll see y'all soon. Your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and your Los Angeles chiropractor, Dan Day. coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas, where we train team ring dinger doctors like Dr. Ruday to practice XYZ efficiently and professionally. We'll see y'all soon.